So we're looking at measures of central tendency in this video. Uh, and measures of central tendency, you've probably seen this stuff before. The three measures of central tendency that we're most interested in today are the mean, mean, the median, and the mode. Okay, so um, uh, in layman's terms, the mean, you may have heard this called the average before. The median, uh, another way of thinking about the median is to think about the middle number. And the mode is the most common. Now basically, a measure of central tendency takes a data set. Here's our data set that we're going to deal with in this video. It takes a data set and it tries to turn that entire data set, all I think there's like 10 of those numbers, into one particular number, one number that I guess sums up or... Um, represents a larger data set. Okay, so let's have a look. First of all, the average or the mean. Now, the formula for calculating the mean, you've probably seen it before, but I'm just going to use some fancy um, stuff here. It's going to be the sum of, okay, so this is like weird um, capital E thing. That's uh, the sum of all of the values. So the sum of X divided by N. And n represents the number of numbers. So uh, add all numbers and divide it by the number of numbers. Now you've probably done this before, uh, so it's nothing really new here. Now you add up all those, those numbers, 5 plus 3 plus 2, etc, 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 plus 7, and you'll get you'll get 41 and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers, 10 numbers so we divide that by 10 and we get a mean of 4.1 so there's our mean or our average. Now for the other two the easiest way to tackle them is to first put your data set in order. Put data set in order. Now if you don't put them in order you really can't find the median at all so you definitely need to put them in order here. So I'm just going to quickly put them in order. Okay so I've put them in order now and that'll allow me to find the middle number, the median number. Now the easiest way to do that is just to count from left and right until you get to the middle. So get rid of that, get rid of that. Just you can see I'm moving into the middle trying to find the middle number. Now we've got a problem because the middle number because there's an even number of numbers, the middle number is here. It's the 5.5th number. Now, when you've got this, uh, now if that number and that number are the same, it's not a problem, that'll be the median. But the way to figure this out is to take these two numbers, add them together and divide them by two. So the median here in this particular case is equal to three plus four divided by two. That's seven divided by two, which is 3.5. Okay, so really straightforward. Put your numbers in order. Count from left and right until you get into the middle. If it's an odd number of numbers, it won't be a problem. You just pick the number. If it's an even number of numbers, you need to go in between them, add them together, and divide them by two. Okay, last but not least, we're looking at the mode. Now, the mode's very, very simple. The mode allows us to find the most common number. Now, looking at our data set, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 7, 7, 7. 7 appears 3 times. So the mode is equal to 7. It's the most common number. Okay, so the average or the mean, add up all the numbers and divide it by the number of numbers. That's the mean. The median is the middle number. Find the middle number of a data set. And the mode is the most common number, in this case, 7. Those are measures of central tendency.